Sunday morning and it's usually the time when I take my cook. I hate the top of my cooker looking a mess and it gets off such a mess. So I'm just about to clean my gas hob and it's one of those things that a lot of people ask me about. So here's where we start. Take the rack off. I put those in here. I'm not worried about that being. Right, I'll put the plug down. Fill that sink with hot soapy water. There we go. Because of the heat on these, they don't get disgusting. But I leave them to soak and then I run over them with a brush. I pull the knobs off. Now, this is what you have to be careful of. Do you see that right there at the end of my fingertip? That is a spring and it holds the knob tightly onto these bits here. Now, if the spring comes loose, the knob will be loose, but it will, on a horizontal one like this, it will still turn. It will work, it's just it will be loose and prone to falling off, so do try and avoid losing it. These are the things that help um, divert the, the gas. Now, they're aluminium, and when you get them, they start shiny, and you can, if you really want, um, keep polishing them but i don't like to because a it will wear after time because when you polish it takes metal off and b it's not necessary however because i am deeply lazy all of this all of this and these are the flame spreaders and they do get grungy but again i want them to be clean you know i don't need my cooker to look like new it's not new i need it to be clean i put all of this stuff in my dishwasher now like I said, you can, if you want to, polish these. And you can, if you want, you could use something like a Brillo pad on these. But I'm really not fussed. I want it to be clean, but I, I don't, I'm not too worried about, you know, that's black. It doesn't show. It doesn't need to be spotless. And obviously with time, the original shine that was on that will wear off. So, like I said, you could if you wanted to, but I don't bother. These go in the dishwasher. Now, these are replacement ones because originally there were plastic ones on it and I kept pulling pans back and melting them. These are metal ones that I bought online and they've tarnished a bit where they've been in the dishwasher. But again, they weren't expensive. They are replaceable. I need my cooker to function. I, I, it's not an ornament. It's a functional piece of equipment. If you care, hand wash them. Now you've stripped this back, it's a lot easier to clean. So this is salt. <laughs> We had, um, we did uh, chips in the air fryer last night and they were a bit flavourless so we salted them and obviously put a bit much salt out so when we got the air fryer off, all the salt fell off, doesn't matter. So, it doesn't matter what you use, this is just, it literally, it is irrelevant, it's the soaking that's going to do the job. I'm drenching my thing in that and then... I'm going to get my cloth but the thing is it's sitting there it's soaking so all these little bits of dried on food will kind of come off now i've wiped it using a dishcloth obviously you can see i've got most of the marks off but because that will leave it all smeary and icky because with grubby water now i avoid using a anything much that's rough on this because as you can see this stuff does scratch now some of them have a brushed finish which is that it's previously scratched in one direction and if that's the case only ever work in this way but if you leave it to soak you don't need to use something particularly abrasive sometimes you do I use barkeeper's friend if I have to but I'll pull it up like this I'll go over all of it and get it clean and then there we go now I've shown you this before I've got a dishwasher these are going in it there from the the filters from that. If you don't have a dishwasher, fill your sink and put a uh, washing detergent, laundry detergent in there and soak them with that and then use a brush and that will bring them up nicely. <clears throat> but now everything's going in the dishwasher and when it's done, it'll be put together.